Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Gene. Today, I'm gonna review Body Bow. This is a relatively old piece of equipment. It's been developed about 15 years ago, um, right about the time when resistance bands became popular. This is a combination of a couple of resistance bands and resistance rods. These are resistance rods that are used. This is a, a full body workout piece of equipment. I'm gonna show you a couple of exercises on this. It's a, a little bit rare to find one of these for sale, but you definitely can. The benefits of this, it's portable. Uh, each set of resistance rods has its own um, weight capacity. It's, uh, it's very interesting in terms of its design and usability. There is one really long resistance band and strap. This is uh, for the wall, this is for your legs. There are two others on the sides and three sets of resistance rods color coded by resistance. So let's get to some exercises. We can start from the top down. So if you are doing arms or shoulders, here's what you can do for shoulders. You grab, um, grab the, the shorter ones in the middle and expand it. See how it expands. And again, you control it by setting um, these carabiners here to a resistance rod of the weight of your choice. So you could do it up and down, you could do it left to right, and you can you could do it for um, the upper back when it's closer to you. So that's shoulders. Now we're going to some uh, biceps and triceps. For that, what you'd want to do is put your legs on the long resistance band, grab one of the top ones, and pull it up. This is basic curls. And uh, here you see how this is a combination of resistance bands and resistance rods. Okay, you could do the same thing with one arm, and as I just showed both arms, right? For, tr for triceps, what I would suggest doing is you put it behind, uh, behind yourself, you grab one of them with one arm, you hold it, and you extend it one at a time. You don't have to be super flexible. It works pretty well. Then, uh, we keep going down. For abs, what you could do here for abs is if you attach this to, uh, you know, put it on a, in a door jam, what you would do is, this is what it looks like. You, you hold one of the short ones. This is the resistance. So let's say my leg would be the door jam. And you keep going up and down. This is a good compression. This is for front part of your abs. For uh, four legs, the, the same the same thing as we did biceps, only in reverse. You lift this up, and as you're squatting, you add in resistance. Now your arms are static. Same thing with lunges. Raise it up and go up and down. And you're adding resistance with resistance rods through the long band. You could also do toe raisers uh, for your calf muscles, raise it up, and up and down. you increasing some pressure. So these are just some of the exercises. If you're interested in a full workout, comment, and I can do the workout with you and I can give you extensive detail. This comes uh, with a brochure with about 50 different exercises. You can get real creative with this. Do you need it? Uh, it's, a, it's a good question. I would say a regular resistance bands uh, pretty much cover this and are much more portable. But then again, uh, this has its own benefits with different resistance rods, different exercises that would be a little bit more challenging with resistance bands. 
Let me know what you think about this, if you ever used uh, this type of equipment, and what you thought about it if you did. Subscribe to my channel for more great reviews of fitness equipment and awesome workouts. Thanks for stopping by today, and I'll see you soon.